Hello YouTube, I am your host, the Crimson Warrior, here bringing you guys my tournament report and deck profile for Blind Second, well what was originally Blind Second Black Wings. But before we get into it, if you guys like the video, go ahead and thumbs it up. Um, comment down below, tell me what you think about the deck, if you enjoyed uh, Locals at Samurai if you were there, subscribe if you enjoy my content, and hit that notification bell if you never want to miss an upload. Also, if you'd like to see some more of my daily uploads, I am on Instagram at CrimsonXWarrior. Now, let's dig into this. It was an awesome Locals, and it started off with... Basically, it seemed like everyone wanted to go second, so I very quickly transformed the going second Blackwing profile that I made for you guys the other day into a going first and going second build that needs much improvement but shows a lot of potential. So three Samoon staple, three Oster. These two, seeing these together is broken full combo. Just step into full armor master, have a good day, basically. Next up, we have Triple Bora, just an extender. He just helps us keep going. Double Shura, I dropped him because I wanted to have slightly less cards, and just seeing multiples of him in hand is not the best, and I don't mind banishing him. One Zephros, you only need one in banishing, it's not bad. Then Triple Gale, he's an extender, also very good. Steam the Cloak, if you see this in hand with Samoon, you're going to have an awesome turn Link Summoning, as long as you don't get Nibiru'd. Although, someone gave me some information that Full Armor Master cannot be Nibiru'd, which is something I want to follow up on, because if that's true, that helps a lot. Triple Kalut, this helps with OTKing in the battle phase before getting to, f or, uh, before getting to 5 summons. Triple Harmontan. You need three of in this deck because you use it to step into Nothung and you use it to step into Full Armor Master, respectively. You're always searching this first off of your uh, Black Whirlwind plays, and you always need to have one in deck. So if you activate Desires and you're only left with one of these, you're not absolutely screwed. Next up, there is Double Blizzard. This is useful when you go into Nuthung combos if you draw it, but I banished it a lot so I didn't see it at all during tournament. Speaking of the tournament, my rounds, match one I lost to Control Stun because I lost the dice roll and the first game he got Fossil Dyna, stopped me from summoning stuff. He had every Solemn card in his back row essentially and he just kept activating it and slowing down the game state and I just couldn't succeed. Second game, I stepped into full armor master and he couldn't do anything. And then third game, he just blew through, um, did the same thing, summoned Fossil Dyna, summoned Inspector Border, and just locked me out from playing the game. Double Gizmek, triple Black Whirlwind. I dropped it down to two Gizmek because seeing multiples of in your hand is not fun. He doesn't make plays on his own, and you also don't want to banish it off of uh, Allure, so I don't want to see multiples of this. Triple Black Whirlwind, it's staple, of course. Getting into my match two, I beat Cassie, uh, one of the kids who played there. She just kind of had a random amalgamation deck that uh, was starting to become a Shadal deck, it looked like, but it didn't really have any end game, and I ended it as quickly as possible because one ca it kept on coming over and screaming in our ears and interrupting the game state, and it was supremely irritating. Triple Desires, you need to draw everything in this deck, and it just helps to turbo through your resources, so seeing it is not bad at all. For my match three, I faced another Inspector Stun deck somehow. This time I won just because I stepped into Full Armor Master both times and just kept poking for game. He didn't have the right traps and he didn't have a wave motion cannon to end the game quickly. So I just very, very quickly ended the game after just summoning monsters and beating down and just stepping into Full Armor Master and not letting him do anything. Triple Allure of Darkness, more draw power, the better in this deck. It does have consistency issues. That's also why I dropped it down to 44 cards. We are supposed to banish a lot in our first turn, but in the case that you don't, you want to see 
draw power and having six draw power cards encourages that. Now I am probably going to get extravagant soon enough because the card shop guy is setting one aside for me so I can finally play it in this build and see if it's worth it in testing, which I hope it will be. Getting into match four for the tournament. Let's see. Willis from Will's Shop, Cyber Dragon, which he was an awesome dude, totally respected that I was playing Black Wings, but just kept slurping my uh, my board up. He just got the right plays. I didn't get the right cards, kind of bricked. Um, I could have played better against him, I feel like, but things just didn't work out. S triple Super Poly. This is just for breaking boards, getting rid of stuff. It's a huge help, and it's a great advantage. Going forward, I think I am thinking of getting some of the Cyber Dragon cards because Cyber Dragon is becoming a decent matchup in my locals that has been giving me trouble, but I just need to learn it better and it will hopefully go better. Now my last opponent, Justice, dropped. Uh, he just wanted to go and we were all tired at that point. It was a long day and we all had basically were done already, so I kind of appreciated that. I got another win, had a chance for top 8, but it didn't happen, but I was grateful there was a top 8, and I really hope that the shop continues with top 8s, especially with the numbers and attendance we've been getting so far. Next up for this, I was originally running 3 of Deck Devastation Virus, I just took one out because I was building another deck and needed another sleeve, so this was 3 originally, and I was playing 3 Black Sonic, but same thing, I took one out for a sleeve, because... Most of the time when people are getting over Full Armor Master, they're beating over it. So activating a Black Sonic and banishing everything face up feels really good. And you're running three ofs of both of these just because these are the most generic help to against everything. Destroying small monsters, all of the small combo pieces is great against Salamangrate. And I just wanted to really even out a lot of my matchups and not worry about a whole lot. Now, getting into the extra deck, we have one Link Karibo, double Wee Witch Apprentice for stepping into one Thung. Blackwing Armored Master starting the sevens. Blackwing uh, Chidori. Blackwing Raikiri and Hawk Joe. I got Raikiri and Chidori confused during a game, and I could have lost the game had it been a really bad mistake, but Raikiri is the one that pops and Chidori is the one that gains. I wanted to pop and I accidentally summoned Chidori for some reason. But we learned these things. Borload Savage Dragon and Evil, Orm Evil Swarm Exiton Knight. Exiton Knight's probably definitely coming out for another Starving Venom Dragon, of which I run too. And I also have a Violite Chimera for the Salad matchup, just because, I mean, Salad's already an easy matchup for us, but I don't want to worry about it too much. And to Full Armor Master. He's the most broken card in the deck. Most people have a lot of trouble getting over him, and your opponent's not going to have a good day if they don't do anything but summon small monsters like Salamangrate and Sky Striker do, because you just summon this guy, and if they can't stop the summon, you just proceed to poke for game until you have the game. So it's an awesome card. It's gotten me many victories. It was an awesome locals this week. I got lots of trading done, lots of stuff improving decks, um, did lots of deck building and deck profiles with Raul and Lance and uh, did anyone else do a deck profile? No, but Grayson did a, a box opening video and it was a really fun time. Getting into the side, after playing so much Inspector Sun Stun and realizing a weakness, I'm probably going to take the Matt Cause out for Twin Twisters because I need to destroy back row. The only thing I would really also change is maybe adding more uh, red reboots. Red reboot. Because once you don't even really care about, like, I would add the triple red reboot just because you don't even really care about back row. Because once you step into full armor master, you're no longer affected by back row at all whatsoever. So as long as they can't climb above you attack wise, 
it's a really good day for you. So I might take and main deck triple red review somehow because it's really worth it and you really don't want to get screwed over by traps like I did this time. It was really irritating, and especially because this is uh, originally totally a blind second build, I think Red Reboot would be a better card. Also, another card that we talked about at the tournament for when you're going first. I expect to go second with this deck, but for when you go first, we were talking about lose one to earn, courtesy of uh, K Dub Dabs, I believe. Uh, check out his channel. I'll try to leave a link in the description if I remember. And he recommended lose one turn because full armor master is completely unaffected by it. And my opponent would be utterly slowed down. None of their plays could really go through because lose one turn just negates everything. Now I need to read the card again to be sure, but that's something we discussed about and can definitely be another option for you folks. If you enjoyed this deck profile, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Comment down below, tell me what you thought, what changes would you make. Um, this is trying to be an ambidextrous build at this point. I want it to be able to go second, absolutely, but I also want to side into going first options, essentially, for when my opponent forces me to go first, essentially, because they don't want... Uh, they just want to be able to break my board or something like that. Subscribe if you enjoy the content and hit the notification bell if you'd like to hear it every time I upload because it ain't stopping now. Peace, guys.